Over the past couple of days, I've been working on a fun little project, and that is converting an old um, external five and a quarter inch floppy drive into a standalone CD player drive, audio CD player. This whole ginormous box right here was the external drive with the power supply in the rear of the unit switching power supply back here and then of course the drive bay right here a nice hard clunking power switch for the for the mains input and just replace the five and a quarter inch drive with a um, cd-rom drive an old one with the dedicated play and stop buttons on there and that's really nothing special this kind of project has been around not just for for years but for decades People have been converting these old CD-ROM drives into dedicated CD players. What I want to talk about here in this video is this little contraption right here that I put together. So this thing is a dual input, dual output, universal switch box for stereo audio signals. I can connect two different sources to two different loads. I call them source and load because I think that's a little more descriptive than just input and output. Uh, but anyway, each switch is for different loads. So this is for load 1. I can connect that to source A or source B or put it in the center for no connection at all. These are on, off, on um, toggle switches here. And load 2, connect it to A, B or no connection at all. On the top of the box, each source and each load connection has um, wired in parallel altogether two stereo RCA jacks as well as 3.5 millimeter TRS tip ring sleeve connector. Now I made this switch box a few weeks ago with only one application in mind and that is for home uh, audio entertainment system applications where for example I might have a DVD player and a television cable box going to, for example, the TV and also to um, stereo system with the auxiliary input. And pretty much any switching configuration here would allow me to connect either one of these loads to either one of these sources. And or I could, you know, use it somewhere else uh, where I have the the last stage of audio amplifiers going straight into speakers you know it's a very very versatile tool just for home entertainment application but I found it to be even more versatile than that as I have it wired here I've got the the loads connected to the the Dell sound bar from the bottom of a Dell LCD monitor and these speakers over here are just ordinary computer speakers and the inputs are both ends of the of the CD player we've got the phono jack right here and the uh, the headphone jack from in the front and also I wired the rear of the uh, the CD ROM player in there that has uh, audio output that would go onto the audio card of the computer motherboard normally but I just wired it straight to some RCA jacks which I installed in the back of this plastic box and I noticed with this thing allowing me to switch very readily for example on one set of speakers I could switch between A and B where A is the uh, the rear output and B is the the front output I noticed that there's actually some some high frequency noise coming out from the 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 headphone jack but not from the the primary audio output could be from the switching power supply inside here but that is yet to be determined it's really a mystery since it only comes out of this one but there's no high frequency noise at all coming out the back Another thing this thing can do, of course, is to switch between the two different loads, the two different speakers. So there's really nothing wrong with either of these speakers, but if there was something wrong, then of course I could easily switch between one or the other, or um, analyze which one might have more bass than the other, which I might suspect, actually, that the, that the, uh, 
dedicated um, computer speakers, tabletop computer speakers might have a little more bass quality than this uh, from the old bottom of the monitor uh, sound bar. But anyway, the way I would do that is to um, have, for example, right now it's just no audio output at all, and then load one, which is this speaker right here, switch that down to B, for example, to analyze that, and then in order to switch to, to the other one instantaneously, I just turn that one off and turn the other one on, and then I can hear the sound coming from the other speakers right away. So let's take a screwdriver to this thing and just have a real quick look at what's inside of it. And here it is. That's it. Just wires, solder joints, and some nice ground connections there. The unshielded uh, 22 gauge tinned copper wire. That's all the ground connections going down there. And it's, it's just wires hooked up to switches and connectors. Really nothing more than that. Certainly don't need no circuit board to, uh, to make for this. It's just hooked up right into the aluminum chassis. And here's very detailed wiring diagram. Got the, the two double pole double throw switches with the center off position. And then there's the, the RCA connections here and here. And also the um, the uh, RCA connections are paralleled up with TRS connectors for both left and right channel. The left channel is the, the tip of the TRS connector and uh, the ring, that's the, the right channel. And also the convention is for the right channel to be red colored wire and the left channel is convention to be uh, white colored wire or in this case I drew it blue. However, in the case of this thing, I happen to use an a uh, an actual original um, wire connecting from the from the uh, the back of the CD-ROM drive and going to the RCA connections in the back here, and that was actually quite the opposite of modern day convention with red being for left and white being for right. But in most cases, I've seen red being for right, and that makes sense since they both start with R, and then white being for left. And again, left goes to the tip of a TRS connector. You know, now that I think about it, I think that the, the Dell uh, sound bar sounds a lot more tinny and uh, less bassy than the other, the Dell computer speakers over here. So there you go. It's a very versatile tool for anybody messing around with audio stuff. I recommend that you, you build this kind of thing. It really comes in handy, especially um, when you use both the, the TRS and RCA connectors. I mean, just, you know, putting, having both of them in parallel for every single input and output is incredibly helpful. After all, I got three of these TRSs right here and then one pair of, of RCA, but I could have all RCA, all TRSs doesn't matter everything's all right there no no converters necessary at all very very helpful to have something like this there may already be something like this on the market there may may already be a whole bunch of uh, web pages and youtube videos of people explaining how to make something like this i don't know i haven't done any research at all i just built it from my own brain and my own hands and i'm proud of it so i figured i would put this out there and and just add to the wealth of knowledge that is on the internet. So thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Please give this video a thumbs up if you learned something. And one other bonus of this switch box is that if nothing else, you can always use it as an RCA to TRS converter, in which case I have it here connected to the, the TRS output, the 
high frequency noise free output from the CD player going here to the box and then from there going to the TRS um, input of the the sound bar so again very versatile tool highly recommended tool to build it or you could just build yourself one of these I made this many many years ago simple stereo RCA to stereo TRS converter a long time ago I got wire wrapped around all the electrical tape to hold the electrical tape in place because after many years the electrical tape I would expect to fall off but um, I held held it on with wire to keep it all in place and this thing still works after more than 10 years is when I built this thing so yeah if you don't want to build this thing then at least you can make something like this